things. Uh, so what was, what did that, I guess, hunger come from? Where did that appetite come from to say, okay, I'm making some good money. Uh, and I'm talking about you know, over a hundred grand type good money at this mm -hmm. uh, company. And, uh, but it's something else out there and it's something else that I want to do. How, how did all that come about? Oh, so that's a good question. So let's get deep into that. So for me, now, in hindsight, today, looking back at it, I think back to when I was like maybe 11 or 12. And it wasn't like, again, at these times, you're not super clear, but I never really wanted to um, like a desk job. That wasn't like in my mind, like I wasn't maybe saying that so perfectly clear at that time, but it was never just a desk job where I was like, man, I want to do here. Like that was never the end goal. Right. And it, it wasn't like one day I just woke up. It's like, oh, I'm at a desk job. I'm not living my dream. No, again, I told you guys earlier, I was always intentional about the money. Right. So for me, I'm, at this point, I've learned. I've, I'm, so I'm going through college. Some, I did learn how to learn. And I learned like I got, you know, some good, like good positions to be able to uh, like just learn fundamentals. And one of them was beginning with the end in mind. Right. You start talking about mentorship and stuff, which will come here in a moment. But beginning with the end in mind. So just naturally, one of my thought processes, and I wasn't even doing this intentionally, one of my thought processes was like, okay, I'm here working. Um, like I'm getting paid now. What does it look like? I work here for 30 plus years. I probably could have worked for 35 years there. Um, I'm already making good money right now. If I want to like, you know, we behind. So we say, that, look, again, I'm just about to keep it 100. So we, we 400 years behind, you know? So I'm looking at it, like I'm thinking about it this way. Cause I already told you when I was in middle school, I was, you know, I'm trying to make money on my own so I don't have to be a burden. But now I'm not crazy. I know that people get older. So, all right, you can't, mom and daddy can't work forever. You know what I'm saying? All right, and then I got a brother who got some mental disabilities. So, okay, that's another thing. So I'm just looking at like, all right, this is gonna take care. So I'm like, man, if I'm, even, if I'm making good money, like, that's not going to be, and then I still want to live a life like, that is worth, that, that I think to, that is where I want to be. And is this it? All right, probably not. And not only is it not it, I never, so I never talked about this yet, but I never really enjoyed engineering. Right, right. right. no, for sure. And there. I think you and I were very similar in that way because it yeah. was always something that, for me, I always kind of fell into when it made sense from a money perspective and things mm -hmm. like that. But it wasn't like I was, you know, all my life, I'm like, okay, I need to, I want to be an engineer. I mean, again, I was able to, to make it all work and it seems like you were able uh to do that as well but uh, that's mm -hmm. an interesting point that you never i uh, really enjoyed yeah ne never enjoyed it. it was just something that you i was told to do and next you know i was doing it and then you get lost in the sauce and you just you just doing it like and the reason why i say that because there's guys who who are legit engineers like they right. love it like yeah, they love you, it I mean, sure. you know this, like they they in it i was never that person right it was just like engineering was always a means to an end so now you adding up okay I'm not super passionate about it. Yes, it's a means to an end for right now, but ultimately at the end of the rainbow, I'm gonna be in a place where I'm at I'm on